statewide California theme parks can finally reopen next month. But there's a little problem. To prevent the spread of the coronavirus, the state government barred singing and shouting. And that includes banning people from screaming on roller coasters. Oh. Now, here's my question. Couldn't do it. Is it still okay to scream about California's government? <laughs> I think that's scarier than a roller coaster. Yeah, it's okay as long as you're not in the park, I guess. It's not only maybe scarier than a roller coaster, it makes me even sicker to think about California's government these days. <laughs> hey, somebody ought to ask Dr. Fauci if you can scream on a roller coaster if you're wearing 10 masks at one time, maybe. Yeah. Huh? All right, so in addition, theme parks have to have their capacity reduced to just 15%. So maybe each car could carry one person at a time. That sounds kind of crazy, but you know, think about this. If there are no crowds, mm -hmm. no screaming, and nobody is allowed to sing, it's a small world after all. <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland. It's a <laughs> uh, why not? Speaking of Disneyland and speaking of all that, seriously, yeah. um, I heard that Russia will be opening up like a new theme park there in, in Chernobyl. No it's, it's gonna be amazing. Chernobyl? Yes, yeah, seriously. Now, here's the huh. thing. They said it's just like Disneyland, except the six foot mouse is real. Oh, <laughs> so it's, oh it's, uh, boy. I I'll bet by the time you're done there, you'll be able to count 10 on one hand. <laughs> hmm. Well, weird government edicts aren't limited to California, because in Taiwan, the government is asking people not to change their names to salmon. Yeah, I know it sounds fishy, <laughs> but a restaurant chain is actually offering free sushi to anyone who can produce a legal ID showing that their name is Chinese for salmon. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Now, things were going swimmingly. Oh. See what I did there? You yep. are a master at that. Until the government started floundering <laughs> when over a hundred cheapskates applied to legally change their names to salmon. Uh, there was actually a pretty big grouper of them. That's oh. oh. Well, they cod all be winners, right? Oh, man. Let's just hope this doesn't give der wiener schnitzel any uh. ideas what to do. Hey, I love yard sales because that's where I buy my jokes, as many of you will uh, probably I believe. That. Uh, but someone in Connecticut really must love yard sales. An unidentified shopper paid $35 for a china bowl at a yard sale in New Haven, Connecticut, and was bowled over when it sold at Sotheby's auction for $721,800. For a bowl? For a bowl. An he old paid 30, bowl. An old bowl he paid 35 bucks for. If you do the math, it's 29,000 times what it costs. So see, wow. if you shop at yard sales, you avoid the markup. That's what it is. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> and I tell you, for that price, it better be dishwasher safe. I know that. <laughs> it actually turned out to be one of only six surviving lotus bowls from the court of the 15th century Yongle Emperor. Wow, man, I've been looking for one of those all my life. Well, there, that means there are five more. <laughs> you know, there were six of them. There's five left somewhere. A young I'm hitting the yard sales this weekend. But I'm going to tell you, the part of this story that I find unbelievable is that someone actually paid $35 for a bowl at a yard sale. <laughs> Go figure! That's the part it's hard to believe. I mean, I would have talked them down to two bucks and made them throw in a Larry the Cable Guy VHS cassette Absolutely. for that kind of money. All right, finally, a homeowner in North Richfield, Ohio, discovered that someone had broken in and trashed his kitchen. But he caught the masked bandit when he opened his dishwasher and discovered a raccoon. Mm. Raccoon was taking what he described as a well-deserved nap. The police sent over patrolman John Metzo, who's known as the department's absurd animal officer, because he previously had to get the jump on a kangaroo, and also one time he had to move a cow. <laughs> now, the raccoon, that deserved a bump on the drum, yeah. I think. Don't you have a cow sound? I don't know there? what it is over there. They're just, they're not even paying attention. I'm slow tonight. I'm but the about. raccoon was safely removed and given an award by Dr. Fauci for never taking off his face yeah. mask. Yeah, there you go. Even oh. in the dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. There we go. By the way, 
Do you know what you call a horse that trashes your kitchen? I'm afraid to ask. The galloping gourmet, oh, that's what you call it. there you go. Well, just like a fish at a sushi bar, we need to flop on out of here. But always remember, we read the news. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind.